friends, and thank you for joining us for another episode of Fort Worth Roots. You can find Fort Worth Roots on all of your favorite streaming platforms, Pandora, Spotify, iHeartRadio, uh, Apple Podcast, and many more. You can also find us on YouTube and all social media as Fort Worth Roots. Join us at the end of the episode for more information on our sponsors and events that are coming up, along with some additional storytelling. Real quick, at the beginning of the episode, we always highlight one of our amazing sponsors. Make sure you check out McFly's Pub at 6104 LTJG Barnett Road in Fort Worth, Texas. It's over there by the military base, just uh, here in Fort Worth on the east side of the campus. It's a 1980s Back to the Future themed bar with a very impressive outdoor area and fire pit. Hang out and bring some friends for pool, darts, cornhole, Jumbo Jenga, or catch a live event. We've got music out there at McFly's Pub uh, just kind of sporadically throughout the week. Make sure you check their Facebook, Instagram, TikTok for any upcoming events. We try to keep you informed also on the Fort Worth Roots podcast social media pages. Just look for McFly's Pub here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today is a really special episode. We ran into this gentleman about, oh, I don't know, back in April during the Psychedelic Panther Festival. And uh, he is a world traveler that just kind of stumbled upon this event on his way through Fort Worth. And everybody that met this dude uh, was just thrilled to have him around because he just found it. Just spur of the moment as he's passing through Fort Worth and uh, got to hang out with us. We had a really good time. We tried recording (laughs) with our friend and it didn't go great because we were all having way too much fun. So on his way back through town after completing uh, months and months and months of traveling around the United States to include Alaska, uh, he hit me up and he said, let's do a recording and let's do it better this time. I was like, amen, brother. So we did that and we got to catch up with him. You can find him on TikTok. This is his main social media page as travels underscore with underscore Martin. Uh, everybody's trying to get their TikTok up, apparently, because Jerry Jonestown Massacre also uh, jumped in on this just recently. It's jerry.jonestown.massacre on uh, TikTok, and you can you find that in the show notes. I'll make sure and include all that. But the reason I'm bringing them up is because after we did the recording with our friend Martin, uh, we got to go out to Junction, Texas this weekend and witness the, one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It's called the Annular Solar Eclipse. And we won't see another one of these bad boys for another 20-something years. So this was a really big treat. We invited Martin to come down with us, and we just had a great time. It's a four-hour drive down there, but we did a live uh, TikTok so that people could watch the uh, annular eclipse with us since it is kind of, I mean, it's a historic moment. It was really cool. So anyway, we'll talk more about that at the end of the show. Thank you all so much for being here. Please give it up for our new friend, Travels with Martin, and let's start the show. Hello, friends, and thank you for joining us for another episode of Fort Worth Roots. I'm here with Travels with Martin, a world traveler that we met at Psychedelic Panther last April at a little place called Lola's here in Fort Worth. That was a blast. And what an event that was. Yeah, that was a blast. <laughs> Shout out to Joe and everybody else that put on the Psychedelic Panther. That was a that was a fun little yeah, that was That little was thing. a great day. Yeah. yeah. And so yeah. Uh, take us back to that day. How did you find that place? Because you're not from Fort Worth. I am not from Fort Worth. Um, I went online. I knew it was in Fort Worth and looking for some live music, and it popped up a psychedelic festival. I'm like, well, that's right up my alley. Let's <laughs> see beer, psychedelic music, live music. I love the live music. And yeah, so I just went, and it was great. I had a lot of vendors, bought a nice tie dye shirt, which I get lots of compliments on. Yeah, it Jeff was, Zero. Was Jeff Zero, uh-huh. yeah. Check him out. He's uh, still making those shirts. Is he? <laughs> Good, man. They, it was nice. I get compliments on that thing all the time. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a proud owner of a Jeff Zero tie dye. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. All nice. original. Each one's oh, yeah. one of a kind. Yeah, yeah. He does <laughs> He does a great job with them, too. So start us off at the beginning of the story, because I, I, I was trying to decide where to where to start, and I think we just need to go from the beginning. What what uh, what started this journey <sighs> off? I, I got the bug. You know, my, my family used to take vacations, and we drove everywhere, and yeah. I kind of got the bug. We didn't go far. But but like driving, I, I I like driving. And when I graduated college um, a while back, I decided before I put on a suit and tie, I wanted to go spend a little time just seeing the country. So I took six weeks. I went from Boston to San Diego to Vancouver and back to Boston, and it was just not nearly enough time. Yeah, uh, there's just so much out there to see, and everywhere you go is different and 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 special, and it's it was pretty fantastic. So. I decided that when I retire, that's I'm buying. A, I'm I'm buying a van, 
and I'm, I'm going to go spend some time and go see the country. And right. then COVID hit. And they sent us home to work remotely, and I was sitting in my apartment by myself. Uh, kids are all gone, and ex is remarried, and I'm like, well, why not now? So yeah. I sold my car, I bought a van, and I told my work that I was going to work remotely. Remotely. And, uh, and they were cool with that. Th- they were. They were like, they, I, I don't, suddenly, I don't think they, as long as the job's getting done, and it was, you know, so I got a hot spot on my phone and coffee shops and breweries and and just went out to see the country. Yeah. And I think I got more work done because I felt like, well, I need to prove that I can do this. Yeah. Um, so I think I, I think I was actually more productive uh, than when I was in the office. And you're in the office, you know, I spent half the day talking to, to Michael over here <laughs> and Kate over there. And, and, uh, so. So take, uh, when... <coughs> I know you said COVID, but what yep. month was this? About roughly this when did you well, take off? They, they sent us home to work remotely in March of, what was it, 2020? Uh-huh. Um, and I think I b- sold my car and I bought a minivan to start to see if it's really, really what I wanted to do. I was like, let's just start small. So I bought a minivan, put a bed in the back. I think it was in um, in um, August. Uh-huh. Yeah. Not, not long after I was home. So that was the launching and, point. Uh, I had a cousin in Montana that's been nagging me for years to visit. So I was like, I'm, I'm coming. I spent three months to drive out there. That was the first back. stop? That was, that was my first trip. It was uh, Missoula, Montana, and back. And I spent uh, three months to get there and back. That was in the minivan? That was in the minivan. Okay. Yeah, I got home. Went home for three months, and then I went down, and I did another trip down. Oh, we, I don't even remember where I went next. I went a bunch of trips. Three months out. Yeah. Three months home. Four months out. Three months home. The entire time you're working remotely? I'm working remotely. Yeah. Getting stuff done, seeing places. And... Um, it was uh, after about two years. I was in uh, coming home from a trip, and I was in New Orleans, uh, and somebody decided to get through the yellow light, mm. and then they, they didn't make it in time, and they hit me, and, and the van ended up getting totaled, which was great. I, I wasn't hurt. Um, nobody was hurt. The van, I got... The, the insurance company paid me more than they originally paid for the van. Damn. Um, nice. I was able to upgrade <laughs> to a Ford Transit, and... Um, when I got back home, I and I and I got the transit. I was like, "Well, my daughter's moved into my apartment, so that's being taken care of. So I'll see you in a year." So I left on November fifteenth, and I'll be back on November fifteenth. And uh, I've got a Sunday will be my eleven month anniversary. Nice, yeah, pretty. Now, are you beelining it to get home, or you got some stops along I've the way? Got some stops along the way. Um, the main the main goal of this trip was to get up to Alaska and up to the Arctic Circle. Mm-hmm. So I'm on my way back from that. Um, I from here I'm beelining it over to Florida to hang out with mom for a few weeks, and then I've going to see a, some family up in Charlotte. I've got uh, a band out of Boston. I was just another band out of Boston. <laughs> Not that band out of Boston. There's a different band out of Boston who's going to be playing in Richmond, Virginia. So I'm going to stop by and see them. Nice. And then and then it's a beeline home. I'm looking forward to getting back. So how many uh, U- U.S. cities do you think you've visited during your year-long uh, travels? It's easier to figure out how many U.S. cities I haven't been to <laughs> yet. I've, I, I looked and I, I've been to almost every major U.S. city in the last three and a half years. Really? Except I think Atlanta. Um, there was another one in there, um, but pretty much everywhere. Every, I've been I've been to most of the major cities. Yeah, I, I'm missing like Sioux City, a couple of the couple yeah. of the ones in the, in the middle of the country, the interior. Yeah. Um, I haven't been to uh, St. Louis. That's high on my list. I was supposed to be in St. Louis, and then I caught COVID. Yeah, mm. uh, so I had to bypass that and and not go. Were um, you in a uh, pretty rough shape, or I was. It hit me bad. I was luckily I was close enough close enough 12 hours which to me is close enough 12 hours to my brother yeah um so he's like just come here so i i drove there and he and i quarantined together and watched a lot of movies and yeah watched the phillies nice. and, uh, go phillies <laughs> <laughs> i had to throw that in there so uh we we gotta know some some highlights uh i know that you know running into you at the psychedelic panther that's got to be was, one of your highlights I, I really like fort worth um i i think the People, people ask me, like, okay, you've, you've been out, you've been on the road for all this time. What's the best place you've been to? That's a tough question because yeah. there's a lot of good places right. that I've been to. Uh, Alaska, by far, is right at the top. I, I can't wait to get back there again. Just it's, because of the beauty? The, the beauty, uh, the people. Um, <laughs> I had fresh seafood right out of, right out of the 
water it was, it was yeah. pretty amazing and um so I want to get back to Alaska. I'm hoping to get there another year and a half. I'll drive back up there. Uh, San Diego is high on the top of my list. I just spent another week there. I've been I've been to San Diego three times, and I haven't been home yet. San Diego um, uh, Sunset Cliffs. Uh, yeah, not far from there. I, I stayed in Ocean Beach, and the first day, uh, the first time I was there, I actually had an Airbnb in, down, Airbnb in downtown. I don't do the Airbnbs anymore. Um, but the first time I was in that, that city, I decided to do an Airbnb. Seems like there might be a story there. Well, uh, why don't you do the Airbnbs anymore? Um, why do the Airbnbs? I, I, the, the van's working. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. They've gotten a lot more expensive It's over more the expensive. Years. It's, yeah. not, it's not what, like it used to be. Um, yeah, well, I still like the Airbnbs, and there's, there's occasion I'll probably use it again. But When it first came out, it was very reasonable. It was great. It was like yeah. a third the cost of what you'd spend at a hotel. Easily. Yeah, and, and you get to you get to live as as a local. Yeah, uh, you know, and I shop at the grocery store down the street and cook your own meals. And yeah, so that was that was really that, that was great. But yeah, it's gotten a little bit more expensive. Yeah, now they're they're about level with a five star hotel now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> for now, you know, but in Alaska, we my family came up to visit me. Visit me. They came to take the adventure with me. They all flew up to Anchorage. Yeah, and um, how long were you there with the whole family? We were there about two weeks. They flew into Anchorage. We drove up through Denali. We caravan. They rented some cars, and we caravaned up through Denali for a weekend, and then we stayed in Fairbanks for I think a w- just about a week, a little over a week, and we took a bus tour from there up to the Arctic Circle. Nice, yeah, which is pretty amazing. I, I can't wait to get back. I won't do the bus trip up to the Arctic again. Yeah, uh, one time thing. It's great, <laughs> but Alaska is just it's just gorgeous. Just yeah, and, and what's cool there is. There's pullouts on the on the road. There's there's no major highways mm-hmm. like in Anchorage, and I think at Fairbanks there's some major highways. But from location to location, it's it's a one lane road. You know, one two lane, one on one on each side, and they have pullouts, and you just pull off to the side of the road and look out at the mountains and the water and the lakes and the the peaks and the clouds and and just be yeah yeah you know, just enjoy the whole thing, take it all in thing. yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm really trying to lead you to some uh, some some s- stories that stories. you uh, that you picked up along your your route there. Well, I had to. Uh, well, that well, cool. Uh, driving up to Alaska. Yeah. Hold on for a moment. Oh yeah, this is a good one. I think uh, he told me some of this earlier. I'm not sure it's the same one. <laughs> I don't really remember what we talked. There's just there's so many. Um, oh yeah, see bear on the side of the road. That was pretty cool. Um, but oh yeah, I was I was camped in uh, Valdez, Alaska, which is a, a little fishing port. Um, great, there's great. I did uh, open mic night there twice. Uh, I love Valdez. I stayed a whole week, and it's just beautiful, nice people, mountains, and you can see the the, the glacial waterfalls on the mountains, and it's, it's spectacular. But I was I was camped out on a, a dry river bed, and the the guy next to me was camped out. And we were chatting for a while, and he said he had just he came up to Alaska because he wanted to fish. And he spent his first day on the water, and he didn't catch anything. Mm-hmm. He said, but he's learning. He, said, mm-hmm. he, he tells me, I went out today, and I caught a fish. You know, yeah. I'm about to cook it up. He goes, but I learned more. And he goes, tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day. And he goes, when I come back tomorrow, I'm going to have a lot of fish, and I'll, I'll bring you some. Nice. And he did. And he, he brought me some salmon right out, and he, he told me to fry it up right now because it was flopping around on the boat two hours ago. <laughs> like, wow. And it's easily the best best fish I'd ever ever eaten. Now, when you was, said you... Uh, you Picked up an open mic night. You're uh, you're not a comedian. I'm not. I, I play guitar. That's right. <laughs> play play guitar. Um, nice. Yeah, I, I like to do open mic nights along the way. I love live music anywhere I go. It's yeah. one thing I find that you can find you can find it everywhere you go is some good live music, mm-hmm. uh, which is how we met in Fort Worth looking That's for exactly live music. Exactly how we met. Yep. Um, so I, I like playing the open mic nights when I can find them. Um, I played in uh, Valdez, Alaska. I played an open mic night in Flagstaff, Arizona. Played an open mic night in uh, Oklahoma City, and I played an open mic night in uh, I think Boston. There's another one in there, but just it's a great way over. to meet people, right? It is, yeah. I mean, wonderful excuse to meet extremely interesting people. Yeah, yeah. Take yourself for example. I mean, these <laughs> people are going to an open mic night, and they ran into Travels with Martin. Yeah, <laughs> that's a highlight of their their, their day right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is kind of kind of wild that you're out doing this. It's it's been a dream. I I, I feel uh, extremely grateful that I'm that I'm able to do this now. How safe did you feel moving through all these different cities? I mean, you're out there, you're on your own, you're sleeping in your vehicle. Yeah, what was that like? I, I, I try and stay aware of my surroundings. Yeah. Um, do you have I, a go-to, like a 
a certain type of thing that you look for in every city? Um, typically, if I'm out listening to live music, before I have a beer, I'll talk to the bartender or the owner and ask if it's all right if I stay in their parking lot. Sure. Mm-hmm. Usually they're, they've got no problem with it. Totally good with it. Um, nice areas of town where there's, you know, live music. I, I, I'm, I, I feel lucky because I'm, I'm in a van that has no windows. Mm-hmm. It's, it looks like a work vehicle. Yeah. So people don't even know anyone's in there. So yeah. I, I feel lucky. I, and I stay aware of my surroundings. Stay aware of my surroundings. Yeah. I like to take walks, especially at night. Just kind of wander around the town Size I've never been up. to. Yeah. And it's it's a lot of like, you know, just making sure like every everything's all right. Um, I felt, I, there's been very few situations where I haven't felt safe. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting that you said that. Um, like to walk around, check the city out whenever mm-hmm. you go to a new city. I used to always bring my tennis shoes with me for trips to new places because there was nothing better than getting up early on a Saturday or a Sunday morning and going for a run and just checking the place out. Where's the coffee shop? Where's the nice place to get breakfast right around the corner? That's, yeah. You can Google this stuff, but it's better to get out and yeah. check it out yourself. Yeah. Coffee shops, that's a good one. I go to a lot of coffee shops. Yeah. 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 So, um, I know we talk, we're going to talk a lot about Alaska, but yeah. there, there's got to be uh, maybe some other really badass restaurants like Pouring Glory that you found on your trip. Restaurants that I found on the trip. Um, I mean, there's, there's some good ones in Fort Worth. I had a great barbecue, and we were just talking about burnt bacon ends. You yeah. said that's a thing they do around here. i got to go eat more of those. That's, yeah, that's I think good. I, w- I want to say that Heim Barbecue is the one. Hi, that's that takes, the one. Is that it? Yeah, that's okay. where I went. Yeah, great. I think Heim they take credit for those... Uh, pork burn-ins or whatever it's called yeah um but i i think now you can get them oh yeah at other places around town so i ate at the original so, i think so yeah don't quote cool. me on that martin mm. but i think that <laughs> they were great i want to uh, say yeah yeah, yeah. so damn good that's so damn good <laughs> yeah. i ate a lot of burgers yeah yeah my, my you know and I, I post them up on tiktok um and my kids will respond and say well when are you eating the salad you know it's all burgers they get a little concerned about that, but you know, I'll try and fit in the, the healthy you food. Know, I, I found well. that if you put enough cheese and enough bacon on a salad, <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, right. You can right. cover it with ranch or right. I cheese. put a slice of tomato on my burger. Yeah. It counts as a salad. It's right? got to. It's got to. <laughs> it does in my book. I mean, the buns are basically just croutons, right? Yeah, right. There you go. It's just a salad <laughs> stacked differently. Well, tell me about your, your uh, encounters with people as you're you're moving through the country. Is there is there any big tic- takeaways from... Uh, your trip. I mean, you you must have interacted with a lot of people, not just the open mic nights, but I, I tend to talk to a lot of people. Yeah, I get that. I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, I, you know, people are are, are people. I, you know, anywhere you go in the country, uh, I tend to run into good people who are just trying to you know get by and enjoy themselves and be good people. You know, again, I I go to places that kind of bring that out. Live music, and you know, you you tend to have you know people who are kind of like that and. Um, I haven't really had any major issues, um, but the people are people are good. They, they, I get a lot of questions. People love hearing about what's going on. Wait, you're doing what? Oh, I've, I've always wanted to do that. It's it's on my list to go do. Yeah. So I mean, you, yeah, a lot of people have those intrusive thoughts. Like I'm just gonna say, F it, throw their hands up, quit their job, and hit the road. Yeah, that's a I, lot of people have that thought, right? Uh, but you, you actually did it. <laughs> I got uh, yeah, I, I got you know things fell into place at the right time, and it just it just all worked out. And uh, like I said, I, I feel grateful and blessed, or whatever you want to call it, lucky. It's it's I'm living in my my dream that you know it's been in the back of my head for decades, mm-hmm. and for it to actually be happening, it's 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 pretty special. Yeah. And to, to be going out for the year, uh, it's blows my mind sometimes sometimes yeah. I'm, I'm in a place and i i end up just kind of just like looking around like i'm here what yeah am, what am i doing in shreveport louisiana <laughs> or what am i doing in montana like what? it's just it, i i blow my own mind my mind sometimes just with, yeah with like wow I, I can't believe this is is this real like, do you feel like we overcomplicate that idea too i mean once you cross that line did it just seem so simple <laughs> yeah yeah i mean it's I mean, I also got lucky. One, it's not for everybody. Yeah. Um, and two, some people, you know, you you work at a restaurant. It's tough to do something like this. I like I said, I feel pretty lucky to have been able to. I had a job that I could work remotely. Yeah. You know. Um. So. Oh, we got a friend. Yeah. A little puppy <laughs> is wandering around. Um, you built up quite a community on social media. Um, did yeah. did did you uh, do you feel like you? 
made some friends there through through your journeys on social media? Uh, yeah, I have. Um, it, it's really funny because I, I I've got a little bit of a following on TikTok. That's kind of where it's where most of my my videos go right now. Um, and it, I, I had never used TikTok before. About a year, uh, it was just over a year ago. I I never used a TikTok. Had what am I going to do with TikTok? Had. Yeah, I think um, we all felt that way when it showed up. Like, yeah, oh great, another social uh, media. Another social yeah. media. What's this one about? <laughs> oh, videos. Oh, okay, so but but you know I'm, I'm traveling and and my parents call me and say like now where are you? We haven't heard from you. And my kids are like where are you? We haven't heard from you in ten minutes. Like you need to call us every day. And I'm like no, it's not going to work. So I tried to. Um, it's like I'm trying to figure out how to not have to call them constantly. So yeah. I started a blog, uh-huh. uh, travels dash with dash martin dot com underscore or dash. It's a dash. Okay. Travels with Martin. If you go to Google, another little star outside. If you go to Google and look for travels with Martin, uh, there's a Fraser episode in which his dad <laughs> Martin went on a trip, and the episode's called Travels with Martin. <laughs> I was unaware of this when I when I decided to put it all together, uh, and the first you know, ten pages of Google are just. Travels Frasier, with Martin. Frasier, 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 Frasier. Except for now. Yeah. Frasier, Frasier, Travels with Martin. Oh, nice. Frasier, Frasier. If you're on that first page? I am on the first page. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's kind of cool. I was like, oh. <laughs> I, the first time I saw that, I was like, oh, look at that. <laughs> cool. Well, I think Frasier went off the air 20 years ago, too. Yeah, so it's you, coming you back. Got, you got him beat on, uh, re, you know, it, Right, relevance. I'm more current. <laughs> yeah. Um, so they were like, so I tried, I was blogging, and, and after a while, that kind of just became a job. My, my kids weren't really looking at it. My parents weren't looking at it. I've, I've come back around and I'm posting stuff up there daily now. Mm. Um, but at the time, it, it, it became a job. So my, my daughter said, well, why don't you just take a 15-second video wherever you are, just say, today I'm here, and throw it up on TikTok. And then we can see. Yeah. We can see where you are. And you can send a link to my, my parents who, they don't, they don't know TikTok. But if you go to TikTok, it's cool because you don't need to sign up. You don't need to have an email. You can just go to the URL and you can see all my videos. Yeah. So they were happy. Kids were happy. So I was like, great. I'll just do that. Today I'm in Manhattan and I throw it up there. Today I'm here. And, and then people started following me. <laughs> I'm like, well, all right. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So I put a little bit more effort into what I'm posting. Yeah. And, but still doing it. Today I'm here. Just so they, they know. The, the main thing is just to make sure my kids and my parents know where I'm at. Yeah. Um, and that I'm safe, and uh, and all of a sudden I've got a bunch of followers. Yeah. So I put a little more effort into it. I haven't posted in in, in, in a little bit, but I'm posting. In. This this will go up there too. So. Well, we'll be looking forward to that because your videos were always interesting, and of course I've only been following you since uh, April. Yeah, when was that? Is that April? April. Wow. Yeah. It feels like it feels like ages ago. It does. It really does. Yeah. A lot's happened since then. Yeah. A lot's happened since then. Yeah. So. But so it's it's been it's been an adventure. Yeah, for sure. Well, and it like you said, it's super curious. Like everybody that hears about this is like, oh my god, tell me more. Yeah, and people and like uh, seeing the van too. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Which is so on TikTok, it's uh, travels underscore with. I don't know. Just look for travels with Martin. I'm the guy with the hat. Yeah, travels yeah. underscore with underscore Martin. Martin. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. travels with Martin. Yeah. You, I know if you if you you look on TikTok for travels with Martin, it, it pulls it, it up. It pulls it up. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to have to kind of go through that and document this, put it in a book, and, and put it on a shelf somewhere <laughs> right. so the aliens can find it 10,000 years from now. <laughs> right. did, uh, did anything unexpected? I mean, uh, I'm sure there's lots of things, but is there a, something that occurred during this entire journey that you really didn't expect to come out of this? Well, I, I, I almost became that guy. Uh-oh. The guy you read about in Yellowstone. Oh, no. <laughs> did you? Did you try to pet a grizzly? Uh, not a grizzly. So I was I was driving back from from Montana on that first trip, and uh, there was a, there was a stretch from kind of eastern Montana all the way to to uh, Fargo, where there's there's really not a whole lot there. But there's uh, I looked online, and there's a rest area for Teddy Roosevelt National Park okay. that they welcome van and you know RVs to to park there for the night. Um, it's a, a welcome center to um, to the park. Um, there's no major entrance, but it's kind of part of the park. Um, and there's a there's a path, a, a mile long path that you can you can walk down. I was like, well, it, it was great. It was right right in the center, which was a perfect place for me to stop. Uh, so I did. So I, I ended up getting there. Uh, it was late at night. It was like midnight. It was dark. It was only one light on in the whole parking lot. But I, I felt safe there, so I, I parked. 
couldn't see anything, and I went, walked over in the dark to the restroom. The restroom. I woke up in the morning, and I, and I walked, and opened the back doors at about 6 o'clock in the morning, I opened the doors at a van, and it was just a spectacular view of, I didn't even realize I was there, a spectacular view of the Badlands. Yeah. And I was just, I just sat there and just looked at it like, wow, that's amazing. So I decided to start my day by taking that mile hike, and I, I went down, and as soon as you kind of get on the thing, you, the, the path, you can't even, you can't see the highway, you can't see the, the rest area, you're just in, in the Badlands, and I'm, yeah. I'm taking a walk around. And I, I get around the halfway point. There's a there's a little sign that says "Look out," and it's you know it's just right there. It's a short. So I walk up there and I'm looking out, and there's a bison, and he's he's standing not far from the path that I'm about to walk down. He was he was far enough away, and there was like a gully and some trees in the way. So I, I was I didn't I wasn't worried that that I was going to get I, I know to stay far away from him. So it was really cool. There's there's a bison right there, and, I, and as I walk the path, there's a, there's a bison right there. Wow, that's really cool. You know, it's keeping my distance. Cool. So, great. All right. So, I, I, I get back up to the van. And I'm like, all right, I, I need to go get my work done. My plan was to go to the other side of the parking lot. There were some picnic tables. I was going to stay there for the day. I got Wi-Fi. So, I was just going to kind of set myself up. I was going to cook myself some food. Make and a day out of it. Make a day out yeah. of it. Right. And a beautiful view. And, like, why not? Great place to get some work done. Yeah. Why not? So, I... I, I going to drive i'm driving to the other side of the parking lot and i drive past the bathroom the, the restrooms there and uh there's a there's a you know sidewalk coming out of the restrooms and there's a bench and there's a lamp and there's a full-size stuffed bison standing on the grass between the bench and the lamppost mm-hmm. right near the sidewalk and everyone's milling around so I was like, oh, that's really cool so i like pull the van over i can grab my camera i'm like Walking over, like, oh, this, I'm going to... First of all, you go past the Mississippi westward, and bison are everywhere. Right. They, f- statues and pictures, and it's just it's what they do. Yeah. So it wasn't out of the ordinary that there was a, there was a bison, you know, that stuff, the statue or whatever. So I, I'm walking over, and I'm, in my head, I'm like, I, j- I want to feel the tough hair. And I just put my arm around it, I'll take a selfie, and, and I'm walking up, and I'm maybe... 15 feet away, 10 feet away. I'm like almost, almost there. And that it, thing ain't stuff. It moved. <laughs> <laughs> it moved. Uh, I hightailed it back like yeah. around the car. And it was, I blew my mind because there's a guy standing five feet from it like taking a picture. Yeah. 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 But I have, I have a picture and you look at the picture and like, it looks like the where he's standing. He, it, it looks, looks like, like it's on display. Place. Yeah. It looks yeah. Like <laughs> so that was pretty wild. I almost became that guy. Oh my God. Uh, but I ended up working. I, I went over and I worked and when I left, he was still wandering around the parking lot. He was just standing in the middle of the parking lot watching Friendly's the cars go by. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You're always hearing people getting nabbed up by animals because they got too close to them. So you, right? I understand. I, I think you reacted the right way. Like, I oh did. well, <laughs> and let me get away from this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't go to Florida and play with the gators, and you don't go camping and play with the bison. It's, yes. These are rules that you should follow. I've seen a lot of wildlife <laughs> in my travel. I saw gator. You go down uh, um, through the Everglades uh, along the Gator Highway, and they're just there's gators like just, just everywhere. right along the side dinosaurs of the road. everywhere the dinosaurs you go. Dinosaurs on the side of the road. <laughs> you drive up to Alaska, and they're bare. There's bears just on the side of the road, just kind of grazing. And like yeah. Moose and all kinds of stuff. It's yeah. Pretty wild. Moose and elk are, are some, those are some animals that really terrify me. Yeah. Yeah. That, I wasn't so terrified of the moose. It's the it's the, the bear. Moose are like 15 they are foot huge. at the yeah, shoulders, we saw, right? Yeah, we saw some pretty cool ones up there. And they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty big. I mean, 15 foot's ridiculous, but <laughs> nine, nine foot at yeah, the shoulders, get, right? Uh, they, I mean, get the antlers on there. They're yeah. Pretty big, well, you know? I'm, I'm saying at the shoulders, though. I mean, that's yeah. that's eight, nine foot, I think. Yeah. yeah. It's just they're, huge. they're pretty huge. Yeah, they're, they're giants. Huge animals. Yeah. yeah. I've, I mean, I've seen videos of them, like, lifting cars with their antlers. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but I feel like I've seen it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just wild stuff. Yeah. So stay away from them. <laughs> and you're good. You know, look at it from a distance. The bear were so, I mean, they were right there, and I got pulled over and, like, roll the window down, take them. They're so cute. They're fluffy. I'll just go over and give them a little hug, and then I'll get back on the road again. Yeah. 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 Why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you, uh, did you work on any other hobbies besides music while you were out there on your own for 11 months now? I worked a lot. You know, it's a lot of work. Um, disc golf. I do like to play disc golf. And there are courses everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. That's Thous- not just thousands. a here thing, huh? Yeah, it's not. There are thousands. I've got an app for it. And there's thousands of courses around the U.S. And I'm trying to play as many as possible. Yeah. Up to 212. 
Most of the parks that you find with the disc golf baskets, are they all pretty well maintained? Uh, it really, across, yeah, across the board, there's some that are just, I you figured. don't want to play, and, yeah. and others that are just beautiful. I played some courses that were played, that um, the national disc golf championships and, you know, international events have been at, which is kind of neat. Nice. Uh, and I've been at others that are just, I throw one disc, I'm like, I'm done, I don't want to lose any discs. Like, yeah. You lose well, a golf ball. they right? It is. Yeah, you lose a golf ball. 20 bucks like, a piece. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. Golf balls are not cheap either, though. Yeah. Yeah. The I ones at understand. the driving range, you know, those are those are probably pretty cheap. But the, the ones that you're playing the 18 holes with right. might be 4 to $8 a ball, right? Yeah. Or more. I guess. I don't know. I, I tried it for a while ago. I just, you know, trying to trying to hit that ball into that big disc golf basket, it's really tough to do. Did that, you that's a joke. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I was. You know, it's a good joke when you have to tell the person it's. Well, it's a joke. my brain was already spooling up for the <laughs> no, next yeah, question. Yeah, no, Usually, <laughs> people don't pick up on that, but you caught me red-handed. <laughs> I'm a little. It's been a long week. <laughs> um, so the next question that I was spooling up, I think I might have already forgotten. No, I didn't. Um, did Did you make any uh, lifelong friends on this trip? Any meaningful relationships that you think you'll keep in um, contact with? Fort other Worth? other than <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. There's there's some there's, a, there's some people around the country that that uh, I've stayed in touch with, and yeah. when I go back, I'll I'll go back and see them again. And there's some people in San Diego. And uh, I mean, I remember people chanting your name <laughs> yeah. at at the event right. here in April. Yeah, sure. people were pretty excited about Martin. <laughs> yeah, were. sure. Okay. Do you remember that young? I'm not kidding. Oh, I really? Have, I have it on a recording. Really? Do you remember talking to a couple? And I, I, I do remember that couple. I rem I think I remember you telling me that you were going to officiate their wedding. <laughs> yeah, no. I think that happened. I'm going to have to go back and listen to that I recording. I must have had a lot of beer that night. Oh, well, yeah, I've got that recording, too. Uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah that's, <laughs> as a matter of fact, you do, yeah. We were going to bring that one up. It's our, it's our <laughs> secret. It's yeah. our secret. Yeah, don't, don't, don't let it out. When in Rome. Hey, that's pretty funny. That was it. Was the event to be yeah, having a that good was, time? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the next time I do an event like that, if you want to interview me, we do it at the beginning of the event. Yeah, or the uh, next day, or the, the day before, year, right. or just not that night. Yeah, that was that well, was fun. I do remember the couple. I don't remember any kind of chance or or officiating any weddings. But oh yeah, there were, there was all these it's interesting plans to know that and yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> huh. Okay. Well, no, I haven't gotten a call yet. So. Well, they're they're probably going to hear this uh, recording, and then they can reach you at on TikTok as uh, yeah. travels with Martin. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Serious. I re I remember them, and yeah, I, I saw them the next day. Cause did I, you really? I, I did. I did. <laughs> I, I stayed in my van right outside, right outside right, there. Right. Um, and I guess they they had a bunch there too. They got a hotel down the street. And, nice. and I got smart, up in the morning. I, yeah, yeah, it was. I stepped out of the van, and they happened to be walking down the street with coffee. And they're like, "Hey, hey, so yeah, whoever you that are, is so it's cool. your wedding, right?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was kind of neat. Very cool. But I have, I've met I've met a lot of people. A lot. I tend to talk to a lot of people. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. some it's very approachable. Oh, thank you, thank you. I try to be. You know, we're all human. Yeah. Um. So what what's next? I mean, how do you go back to a normal life after yeah. all this? Well, I'm I've got uh, Sunday will be my 11 month anniversary of leaving uh, Boston. I will be back in Boston on November 15th, uh, and at that time, I'm cleaning out my apartment, selling it, and I'm um, going full time. No sense keeping the apartment. I don't. I, I get cooped up, so I'm selling it all. So if you need stuff. For your apartment, <laughs> travel selling apart. it. Yeah, right, right. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna sell it all and and do. I don't know if I'm gonna. I, I the downside of what I, I just did. I really wanted to go out for a year, just experience it. Um, but I miss my friends. I, I really miss my friends back in Boston. There, you know, being out for a year, you miss every birthday. You miss every party. You miss every band that they have playing in the backyard. You miss any of every of it. You miss everything for an entire year, um, and, and that was tough. So I don't think I'm gonna do that long again yeah um without being home without being home yeah right and but but home will be different you yeah. know i know a lot of people in boston um who have you know said yeah yeah totally come by you can you can you can stay in your van in my driveway no you can you know um so yeah that's that's the plan now is to go back sell it all go out i've got some weddings uh, so you're the beginning gonna continue the van life oh yeah yeah I, I, I'm hooked. I, it's I, there's just so much out there to see. So you know, it's it's not going to be forever. I know at some point I'll want to settle down, 
you know. Yeah. Um, but for now, you know, let's see what happens, see where it goes, and beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it's. Uh, I, I feel like I said, I'm extremely grateful that that I'm able to do this now while I can still throw a disc, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I can. I think those cop sirens have been going for six minutes straight. Oh, yeah. I didn't even hear that. Did you yeah. notice that? Everybody on the recording is wondering what the hell's going on. Going. Ladies They're coming and gentlemen, we're, we're safe, by the way, guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, I was pulling up another question, too, and that got me distracted. <laughs> All right, so van life. Oh, I wanted to talk about your van setup. You, My you van see, setup. I mean, for somebody to be so comfortable with this new lifestyle, yeah. you've got to be comfortable in that van. I, I, I am, but it's yeah, it's uh, definitely a van for one at this point. It's sure. uh, when I needed to be when I got the van when the when the minivan was totaled and I got back to Boston and I, I needed to get a, a van because I had a, a family event in Colorado that I needed to get on the road and get right. to. So yeah. I, I was looking for a van, looking for a van, and during COVID, finding a van like this was really hard. Every time I'd find something online, I'd call them up, and they're like, oh, yeah, we sold that van, you know, a month ago. Well, they're ridiculously expensive, And too, they're right? expensive, and, you know, luckily I, I, I had some money from the, the minivan, so it, it worked out, and I'm, and I'm looking, and I'm looking, and I finally I, I called one guy who said, uh, yeah, yeah, we got that van. I'm like, great, well, you're an hour and a half away. Don't sell it before I get there. And I, and I drove down there. I had a friend drive me down there. Actually, a cousin drive me down there because I didn't have a vehicle to get around. Yeah. Uh, and I saw it. And I'm like, it's, it's fine. So it was, it was an old Home Depot delivery uh, van, Ford Transit. Yeah. Um, well, our umbrella is failing us. It, it is a little bit. That's <laughs> all right. You can move a little bit. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Uh, so it's an old Ford Transit, uh, Ford Transit Home Depot delivery van. It had a, a good solid floor. had walls. Um, and that was about it. Um, so I needed to get on the road. So I built enough. Uh, I put a bed in. I put some storage, and I, I and I got on the road. So I've been doing building it out along the way. Do you have cooking options <laughs> and a way to shower? Not uh, yet. Um, I installed the sink. I don't have the the tank for the water yet. That's right. a project for when I get back to Boston. Yeah. Um, I, and I have it set up. When you pull the sliding door on the van, it's a it, it, the sink is right there, and you can swivel. Oh, so now you have a shower. I have a shower. Nice. Exactly. In the meantime, uh, I've got a Planet Fitness membership. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's all you need, folks. Planet Fitness all over the the country. The the black membership. 24 hours. $27 a month, something (laughs) like that. And I use any Planet Fitness in the world. So when I was up in Canada, I used Planet Fitness. Are you serious? I did not know that. And they're everywhere. Yeah. I haven't come across one major city yet that doesn't have at least four of them. Yeah. I did that for... uh, I want to say like a month and a half. I was also in a transitional situation. And, uh, yeah. That's great. Planet Fitness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People ask, do you exercise? They say, I look at the equipment. Ooh, I see yeah, it. It's yeah. over there. Go for like a walk and a tread every yeah. once in a while. Yeah, I get plenty of exercise. Filling those gains? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, and you so know what? I do that. And it's so... Uh, they know. They, they know, too. Because I can't tell you how many times I'd walk into Planet Fitness, take a shower, and then <laughs> leave. <laughs> and I'd look at the staff like... Nothing to see here. Yeah, they know. I get that. Of course they know. People, people it's, it's buy that membership just so they can use the shower. It's fun pulling into a Planet <laughs> Fitness and seeing three other vans there. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And a lot of them are twenty four hours, so you can like, just stay overnight. Yeah, you know. that's yeah, awesome. And it's, and it's uh, got three point one thousand likes on this for our listeners wow. that aren't. Uh, We've got people listening to this on a Monday after the live, and uh, they're not going to know what we're talking about. But this is the first time we've done a TikTok live in conjunction with one of the Fort Worth Roots podcast episodes. So we have a feel blessed. Yeah, hell yeah, we got a live uh, chat going right now. We got Carnival Cruiser in the room. We got Captain Scotty. Maybe there's Shannon. How you doing, Shannon? Welcome in. So this is really cool. Um, we could try to maybe let the uh, viewers. Ask yeah, a few yeah, questions. I'd love to have a question. Yeah, Does yeah, anybody yeah, have totally uh, questions for our friend Martin, the world traveler? The world. It's I, it's not the world because you can't you know drive what? everywhere. It's People my, go, have you been to Hawaii? It's my yeah. show, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> You're a world traveler. Yeah, world traveler. Sure, sure. Shannon's dropping flowers there at Roses. Uh, see. I'm not seeing any questions yet. Does anybody have any questions for our yeah, friend? Someone give me a question. <laughs> I know. I know. Carnival Cruisers got us. Give them a second. They're they're typing it up right now. Yeah, that's it. Thank y'all for the yes. gifts. Yeah, appreciate that's that. Cool. Yeah, I've done. I I've done very few lives on TikTok, but I think 
I think I'm going to start doing that. Yeah. No, it's mm. it's been great for me because with a podcast, you're constantly putting out content, but you're never getting any feedback. Right. You can look at the analytics and you can see, okay, yeah, people are listening. Sure. But you don't get to talk to them. Yeah. And with the yeah, uh, yeah. TikTok Lives, you yeah, get to actually cool. talk to people. Oh, Gary, here you go. You got yeah, one. How long have I Gary? been traveling? I've been in a van traveling on and off um, for about three and a half years, mid mid 2020. Does that feel weird saying that? Three and a half years? I was thinking about that just as I was driving in here today. I was like, wow, it's, it's been over. Three years I've been on the road. That's pretty On and off, you know. You've been living in a van as long as I've been podcasting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. That was, it was part-time for, for the first two and a half years. But Car- I've been, Gary, I left on November 15th. And we got a Carnival Cruiser who must have joined us after we started. This is Martin. You can find him on TikTok as Travels with Martin. Yep. And we met this gentleman back in April at a, a festival here in Fort Worth. And uh, he actually hit us up on his way back through Fort Worth. To see if we wanted to sit down and do a recording with him. So here we are. Yeah. Actually, just t- actually just reached out to see if you want to grab a beer together. Oh, well, yeah. The thing about podcasters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of figured. I, I, yeah, although I was thinking, wow, after my last my last uh, foray into podcasting. Oh, I'm, I'm going to bring it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I'm not bringing that up. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good festival. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a great festival. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting to that one again. And brother, I appreciate this so much. Uh, do you have anything you want to tell the Fort Worth community? How do you support yourself? Where you call oh, home? Yeah, yeah. Uh, is that that? Yeah. Um, I call Boston home. Uh, I live just uh, live. I've got an apartment just north of Boston, um, which I will be cleaning out. But Boston, Boston is home. Um, I've got a ton of friends, a ton of family up there that uh, I'll base myself out of there. And what do I do? I had a, I have a full time job um, running Google Ads um, up until about two months ago yeah. um, so that's not there anymore so how do I support myself right now I'm kind of working on it yeah yeah I, I'm, I'm I had a job to answer the question I had a job up until two months ago yeah uh, full time and uh, source of it. yeah not really yeah. Uh, I, I, <laughs> the weight of the world is lifted off when, yeah. when I you know, my expenses are pretty low right now yeah, yeah. that's excellent so, yeah. so, but there, there's things um, there's some online stuff I'm working on and uh, I'd like to get the TikTok back up and running. I haven't really posted much lately. Yeah. Um, but it's um, I've got a lot of stuff from Alaska. I'm going to put up and well, see I'm if we can see if we can. I do know something our there. friends here will be happy to support you and uh, whatever you that. decide on doing. Uh, have you ever traveled out of the United States? Um, yes, I uh, I drove uh, from Thunder Bay, Ontario, across Canada. Does that count? Oh, it counts. It's outside of the United States, right? Yeah. Um, I drove, yeah, I went from Key West, Florida. I drove north around the, up to through the Great Lakes to Thunder Bay, Ontario, and I turned left and I drove across Canada uh, through Saskatoon, uh, through Saskatchewan in uh, Manitoba. Is and it a pretty straight shot? It was pretty straight shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one major road up there. Down here in, in the U.S., there's there are all kinds of roads you can take yeah. across across the country. But up in Canada, there's one. Yeah. Yeah, one major one. That's a Trans-Canadian Highway. And uh, it was pretty cool because there's a big sign that says you reached halfway across Canada. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And, uh, yeah, so I did. I drove through Canada. I saw some. I've been to um, almost all the provinces. Um, I really, other than that, I haven't been out of the United States. Yeah. Um, Someday, uh, you know, I'd like to go see some places in Europe, but at, at the moment you can't drive there. I'm waiting for them to put that bridge, <laughs> that bridge in, so I can, you know, get it's across. It's gonna be an energy tunnel. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Shoot you under all that water right on top of the uh, intercontinental uh, cool. data. Thank you, Gary. Lines. Appreciate that. All right. Well, you, do you have anything you want to tell these folks before we get out of here today, Gary? That's Gary and Martin. Martin, <laughs> that's okay. Hold We're on, just I'm going to edit that out. I'm going to edit that out. <laughs> Martin, well, we can ask Gary. <laughs> Gary, <laughs> uh, I was, folks. I was staring right at Gary's yeah, name. Yeah, I looked right. at Martin d- dead in the eye, and I s- called him Gary. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, well, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> do I, I, you know, you know, if there's something you want to do, um, I, I've this is something I've dreamed about all my life, and. Yeah, things fell into place, but I knew I would do it someday. I believed I would do it someday. And, yeah. you know, you just work towards what you want and believe you can get to where you want to go. And usually you can. Yeah. At least from my experiences and people I've talked to. Yeah. Well, you're my spirit animal because we want to <laughs> take the uh, mobile podcast studio and do something very similar. Yeah, that'd uh, be great. Uh, I'll follow you around. Probably. 
Oh, you can go with us. It'll be a convoy. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'll be coming back and forth to Fort Worth. I don't think. Well, you know, one year I would like to. Yeah, do what you did. Take sure. it on. Take it on the road full time for a sure. year. That sounds awesome. Yeah, it was it was special. So I don't know anything. Anything else? Believe in what you believe in. Well, we're going to be, be watching your be journey because something tells me it's nowhere near over. Not yet. Yeah. No. No. I'll settle down someday, but for right now, I'm I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah. I love it. And, and anyone out there, if if you're in a in a place and you're like, oh, you should come here, let me know. Definitely re reach out on on. Uh, I'm I'm in the process of planning my next trip. I'll be back in Boston on November 15th, and then uh, where to go next? I'll be there for a little while to clean out the apartment, but then I got to plan the next trip. So, yeah. any anyone along the way, uh, let's grab a beer. Uh, I like meeting people. Are you uh, are you are you accepting bids uh, for your musical skills? <laughs> yeah. No. Can people bid uh, on that? Uh, uh, Oh, good, a helicopter. I was beginning to wonder if we'd get any more background noise. Oh, uh, yeah. He's, he, his eyes are glued on that landing yes. station about four blocks from here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, what was the question? Who knows? I, know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really did forget. Well, all right. So, folks, go find Martin on TikTok at Travel. You can't find that Martin, Martin anywhere, Gary, here. Let me, let me see if I can put it on here. It's yeah, right. and we'll be sharing it. And it will be in the show notes for this episode. There and you he go. Is sending it to you right now. So, and I'll make uh, sure you guys can find him. It's yeah, I don't know how to do this on here. That's all right. It's Martin yeah. underscore. Uh, excuse yeah, me. Travels you, under. If you look for travels with Martin, yeah, travels it usually comes up. I, I'm, I'm the guy that I, I've got a hat on in the in my picture that yeah. kind of looks like a Indiana Jones kind of hat. So yeah. If you look for travels with Martin on TikTok, it should come up. If you look for travels with Martin on Google. You should find me on the first page somewhere within all that uh, Fraser stuff. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be great. Well, brother, thank you again. This was awesome. My pleasure. It was awesome. I agree. I agree. And uh, can we do it again? A hundred percent. hundred percent. And listen to this guy's posts, uh, his uh, podcasts. I, I listen to him on the road. I and if, even though I'm, I'm not in here, it's good stuff. And, yeah. and, and you, you, guys should, you guys should listen to him. It's well, good thank, stuff. Thank you, Martin. And we'll be hedging... Uh, our show a little more towards a, a national audience. You know, we we will always be Fort Worth based, mm -hmm. but sure. we we, we want to be inclusive. We want to draw people in from all over the, the country. So yeah, maybe you should teach me how to do this. I can interview people in other places. You can definitely yeah, do it. Cool. You don't need all this either. Yeah, you right. can do it with a lot less equipment. I will show you how. Sir. There you go. <laughs> all right, Martin, not Gary. Cool. <laughs> Thank you again, dude. And pleasure. Uh, we, we're going to be following your journeys and. You know, anything we can do to help you spread your message, please let us know. We are always down for it. That was right. good, man. All right. Very see you great. guys. Thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you next week. <laughs> A huge thank you to our friend Martin, Mr. Travels underscore with underscore Martin on TikTok. Yeah, everybody's jumping on that TikTok bandwagon probably right before it gets uh, destroyed by the, the iron fist of the United States. They're about to vote again, it sounds like, on whether or not we get to keep this form of free speech. I say we squash it. I say we get rid of all the liberties and freedoms that we have because, hey, get with the times. Anyway, enough of that. <laughs> We don't do politics on this show. You know that. Anyway, we're going to try to beef up our TikTok right before they take it away. Uh, travels underscore with underscore Martin. And then our friends out there uh, that joined. Well, they didn't join us. We joined them for this uh, annular solar eclipse. Jerry Jonestown Massacre. Dustin. Matt. Susie with Forever. Uh, excuse me. Fort Worth Famous Podcast. And uh, a bunch of other cool cats and kittens down there in Junction watching the uh, annular solar eclipse. Really cool stuff. Um, I wanted to tell you guys about this because I'd forgotten about it. Whenever you look at the shadows, and I think this is with any eclipse, but whenever you look at the shadows coming off of the trees, and this does not make sense to me, but the shadows are shaped like crescent moons. And I think I'm going to use that inside the icon, uh, the little thumbnail for this video. And I'm going to use it to promote the, uh, the episode. So anyway, any graphic you see getting thrown up on... Uh, our social media pages is going to have a picture of me and Martin standing in front of his van that he travels the country with. And if you'll look closely at the van, you'll see these half moon shaped shadows. And that's not because it's peering through a tree full of leaves that are shaped like half moons. 
it's because it has an effect like that on uh, shadows for some reason. I don't understand it. Somebody help me. Um, but anyway, hopefully you got to see some of this too. You didn't have to be in Junction to witness that. I'm seeing uh, videos from all over the country pouring in from people that were taking videos of this on the ground. Such a really awesome experience. Hope you all got to see a little bit of that. Um, it's a great excuse to go out camping. A good experience to get outside. So if you missed this one, maybe take advantage of that next time. Look it up. Try to find uh, when the next one's going to be. doesn't have to be an annular solar eclipse. Those are really cool. You get the ring of fire around the, uh, around the moon. So that's awesome. But there's other eclipses and stuff. I just don't know when they're going to be. Partials are probably cool too. Anyway, make sure you protect your eyes. And if you get some of those sun-watching glasses, make sure you get some that are actually certified and approved by uh, trustworthy organizations because apparently there are some BS glasses out there that uh, knockoff companies are selling and they don't actually protect your eyes at all. So anyway, save your eyesight, get some good ones, make sure they're uh, approved correctly. But anyway, getting out in nature, looking up at the night sky from a uh, an area where the horizon light is a lot less, kind of like Junction, Texas. It's not a bad idea. It's, uh, Mineral Wells, just outside of Fort Worth, has a state park that's actually pretty cool. But if you look to the uh, east of Mineral Wells, you get a lot of light pollution coming off of Fort Worth from all those miles away. It's crazy. Anyway, that night sky is something that we take advantage or t- take for granted, especially here in a large city like Fort Worth. You just don't know how much you're missing uh, in- unless you've been out there in-, in one of these dark areas like Junction or um, Big Bend National Park. I know you guys have heard us talking about that on the show. But it's great to get outside. Take the kids, take the wife, buy yourself a $30 tent, and just go. Just go. Just get out there. You need to do this for yourself, for your sanity. Uh, But anyway, uh, Martin, thanks for... (laughs) There's my big spill on that. Uh, Martin, thanks for being on the show, brother. That was a great episode. We appreciate you so much. Um, And we would like to connect with you um, either remotely or next time you're in the city, uh, the state of Texas, especially Fort Worth. But we'd love to meet up with you, hear more about your amazing adventures. And uh, we're going to be keeping a close eye on you on TikTok. Again, that is travels underscore with underscore Martin to find our friend. And then our boys over there at the Jerry Jonestown Massacre, jerry.jonestown.massacre. They've got like 20 followers. It's really pathetic. So you guys go give them a follow so that they don't feel bad about their TikTok engagement. If y'all don't know already, these are friends of ours and they have been the number one and largest podcast in North Fort Worth, uh, excuse me, North Texas for the last uh, 10 years. So anyway, give them some love, jerry.jonestown.massacre and our buddy Martin as well. Also, of course, absolutely. Okay, let's talk about these sponsors real quick. Excuse me. All right. Pouring Glory, 1001 Bryan Avenue, Fort Worth, Texas, just off South Main Street. NI-35, one block north of Rosedale. Pouring Glory is a growler refilling station. I saw a guy doing this today. Apparently, you don't even have to have a Pouring Glory growler. You can bring your own growler. And this dude brought something in that looked like some kind of steampunk, old school, stainless steel, something or other. Anyway, brought that in, had that filled up, and... uh, dude's just living his best life. So anyway, get that done at Pouring Glory. That's a dog in the background. Can y'all hear that? Jax? Get lots of water, buddy. All right. (laughs) They're always doing fun stuff out there at Pouring Glory. And we're always talking about it. We're always hanging out there. So um, go check that out. One of the big things they do every week. Jax, come on, dude. Jax. Jax. Hey, that's enough, bro. The rubber sheets are packed. This silly guy, he uh, he's a beautiful dog, beautiful, brave dog, and he tried to attack the neighbor's dog, and he tried to do it through the fence, so right now he is walking around with a sock on his foot that I have taped all the way around so that he can't slip this thing off. He's gotten really good at houdini in his way out of the sock, but man, he jacked himself up real good. So we've been using some of that liquid Band-Aid and trying to keep it clean, and Anyway, I got really off track there. Pouring Glory, Growler Filling Station. Go check that out. Live music all the time. Check out their Facebook and their Instagram. Also, they have Dog Park Sunday. I was there today. Beautiful dogs running amok. The gates are all shut, and you can have them off the leash. It's a whole thing every Sunday from open till about, I think, four or five. Uh, Of course, it's dog-friendly. You can bring them anytime, but it's Dog Park Sundays on Sunday. So check that out. Pouring 
glory. Don't miss it. Body Machine Fitness, 2300 West 7th Street, Fort Worth, Texas. They offer a truly one-of-a-kind fitness experience. Your first class has already been paid for. We are members of it, too. Myself and the beautiful Megan. Um, we go there, and it's awesome, and we love it. You should go there, too. And if you want to go there with somebody, hit us up, media at fortworthroots.com. Email me. Say, hey, I want to check it out. Schedule your class. Do that first. Email us, let us know when it is, and we'll see if we can't make it with you. Okay, we'll make it a whole thing. Uh, to do that, go to bodymachinefitness.com to schedule your first high-energy uh, strength group fitness class with Best in Industry group fitness class. I'm repeating myself. From the top, to schedule your first high-energy cardio strength group fitness class with the Best in Industry trainers, cutting-edge audio and lighting systems, show up early or stay after the class for the IR, sauna, and nutritious snacks in the lobby. Okay, we made it. You heard me talking about McFly's Pub at the beginning of the episode. This place has always got wild stuff going on. And I was there, I don't know, this is probably about a month ago. And I'm sitting outside with Casey, the owner of McFly's. Inside, inside the bar, we're sitting outside, inside the bar, is Johnny Five from the old, when was that made? 88, 1988, something like that. The movie Short Circuit, Johnny Five. You remember that robot? Beautiful Stephanie. And uh, no disassemble. You know, he said things like that. Anyway, that's a, but my best Johnny Five. You better not be making fun of me. Anyway, uh, that robot, fully articulating, rolling around, dancing with the uh, patrons there inside the bar. This was the raddest thing I've ever seen. And uh, the very next day, uh, a DeLorean group, uh, they had a meetup. So there's a bunch of DeLoreans parked outside. Really? More water? Jax. Jax. It's insane. Hey, quit it. Stop. It's insane. <sighs> the very next day, they had DeLoreans parked outside a meetup. And just all the way down the side of the building, DeLoreans. There's always something cool going on at McFly's. A 1980s Back to the Future theme bar with a very impressive outdoor area and fire pit. Hang out and bring some friends for pool darts, cornhole, jumbo, jenga, and cornhole. There he said that. Catch a live event with local musicians on stage multiple times every week. Always something going on. Uh, and they have Tuesday night with Tommy Luke. Open mic night. Something else you can see. They also have TikTok and Instagram and all the stuff. So you can check them out. McFly's Pub, just like that, on all the social medias. And uh, get ready to have a badass time. Okay, where are we at? Cowtown Nutrition, located at 5430 River Oaks Boulevard. They offer a healthy alternative to that compulsory fast food craving. You can also load up on your favorite Herbalife products and learn about their fitness groups that they hold on location at Cowtown Nutrition. Check them out on Instagram at Cowtown underscore nutrition. What else we got? Woodpost Metalworks. Go to woodpostmetalworks.com. Offer code PODCAST817. They specialize in metal signs with or without LED backlighting, fence and gate repair or installation, light steel fabrication, industrial plasma cutting, and more woodpostmetalworks.com and use offer code podcast817 at checkout get 10% off Hawk Walker Originals hawkwalker.com they offer a huge variety of unique and personalized gifts also laser engraving to customize just about anything you can think of check that out hawkwalker.com lots of cool stuff roofing solutions by Darren Hauk these guys have been sponsoring this show for a very long time. This family has taken very very good care of us and they have been in the industry with a 5 star rating for, I believe, coming up on 14 years. Outstanding. And these are the folks that you want protecting your most valuable asset. You don't want to just have anybody putting a roof on your house. You want trusted people like the Hawks. So go to the website, search all the things where you find contractors and make your own assessment. What you're going to find is that these guys are trusted by our community and have been doing this for a very long time. Again, that is roofingsolutionshawk.com. 817-882-6520. And if you'll call them and tell them you heard about them on the show, they're going to give you 50% off a roofing tune-up. That's a great discount. I don't know who else does 50% off anything, but they do. They want to make sure that uh, you get a great opportunity to get a qualified roofer on your house, checking those pipe jacks and vent covers and making sure that you don't have a point of entry for water to get in there and cause some unnecessary issues way before the uh, life of your roof is supposed to expire. These guys, they do that. 50% off. 817-882-6520. Also, on our website, we've got crew wear. 
And I don't have those details in front of me. But if you've seen me walking around in those 817 shirts, or you might have seen a video uh, of me wearing them, or pictures, whatever, um, this is a shirt that, this is the only time I've ever walked through a restaurant and somebody's been like, excuse me, hi, uh, where'd you get that shirt? You can find that on our website, fortworthroots.com. Go to our trusted sponsors uh, tab, click on that, scroll down, you're going to see crew wear. Click on that, and you can find that 817 shirt for sale, easy to purchase, along with some other really cool uh, t-shirt ideas by our buddy, Pistol Pete. He hates it when I call him that, I think. Mark Spitz. I don't know. What name do you want me to call you by, dude? Very uh, <laughs> very energetic and entertaining individual who used to work for a local radio station here in the DFW area. And uh, we love him to death. Hope the best for him. He's uh, started selling these shirts just recently. So give those a shot. Check them out. It is a super long website name, and that's why I'm not calling that out. Uh, it will be in the show notes, but you can also get to it on the Fort Worth Roots uh, podcast website, fortworthroots.com, and just go to the scroll down menu, menu and cl- click on crew wear. So, all right, that's all the sponsors. Man, we did a 13-minute long exit outro. Whatever. Okay. <sighs> Martin, we want to we wanna work with you some more. He's, he's going to be doing some TikTok stuff, and we both got aspirations to travel around and take videos and bring more information to our friends. So we're going to try to do some stuff with old Martin there cruising around in his badass little van. So anyway, sincerely, thank you, Martin. Y'all go sh- check him out on Instagram. Travels, oh, excuse me, TikTok. Travels underscore with underscore Martin. All right. Thank y'all so much for being here, and we will see you next week. Bye-bye.